Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. I'm so glad you guys stopped by because I absolutely love being able to share with you what I find at the thrift stores. And I'm even more excited when most of those items are vintage, which is the case today. So that makes me very, very happy. So let's go ahead and jump into today's haul. So this is going to be a really quick haul today. I have just a handful of things. I went to two different thrift stores and only picked up probably five or six things. So I should be able to go through this really quick today. So let's go ahead and get started. The first, I'm going to show you the first, my favorite two items that I picked up first because I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, there were these little crystal jars. I found these at Goodwill. And it looks like this. Isn't it pretty? Hopefully you're going to be able to see it. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It was $3.99. I love the little lid on it. It's just so pretty. So I was, I picked this up and I'm like, oh, this is gorgeous. And then I saw it's match. So of course I had to pick that one up as well. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use these for. I'm assuming they're for like oil and vinegar, um, but I'm not sure. I think I'll probably use one for olive oil and put on my tiered tray behind me to use it for cooking, that sort of thing. Not quite sure what I'll use for, for the other one, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So I'm very excited. I love being able to use like fancy stuff like this on an everyday basis. It just makes you know, those chores of making dinner or putting something together to eat for your family, just a little bit nicer. And I know that I didn't spend a whole lot of money on it, but it feels fancy and fun and unique. So I just love it when you can find things like this that are, you know, practical and pretty at the same time. So I thought those were great. Um, $4, I thought each was a little high, but they're so beautiful. I had to go ahead and get them anyways. All right, so then the next thing I found was a set of three child's size um, fabric covered clothes hangers. I think these are so cute. And look at that. They're in white with a little bit of blue trim on there. I think that is so pretty. What did I pay for these? I paid $1.49 for these three hangers. And I have actually been looking for child size hangers. I almost went out and bought some on Etsy, but I'm glad I waited this a little bit longer because those are just plastic ones, like vintage plastic hangers. And I think these will hold up a little bit better because my mom recently gave me a little coat that I used to wear when I was a kid and I want to display it down in my um, craft area. And so I was looking for the perfect little hangers to hang them on and this will be awesome. So I'm so excited about this. So loving that great little find for $1.49. And speaking of a great little find, I picked up some more tea lights. This is in a little goodie bag. There's, I don't know, probably 15 in here for $2.24. always look for those when I'm at the thrift stores because I go through them quite quickly. <laughs> so that's a good thing to get those on sale. All right, so this next item I picked up was inspired by... Um, both Instagram because I see them on Instagram all the time and Danielle from over at homemade vintage She just scored like three or four of them herself And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to start looking for those at the thrift store and The next time I went I found one which was awesome. It was 224 and it is one of those little you know hand brushes that you see all the time in home decor this one obviously is not vintage, but that's okay <laughs> So I'm going to add this into my mix and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use this yet because this is a new thing for me, but I thought it would be fun to use it. I know I've seen them used as um, kind of like a holder for vintage postcards, that kind of thing. So that's probably how I'll use it first off. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I was more excited to find that one for sure. This next item I was also excited to find. It was from Goodwill. Um, it was 99 cents, and it's a cute little metal spatula. Look at the shape of the the head here. I think it is so cute. Um, but what really sent me over the top was this adorable handle. Look at that. I just love it. I'm loving the metal spatulas. I think I held a metal spatula not too long ago. Maybe not last week, but the weekend be week before. And I'm loving that one. So now this gives me three metal spatulas for the kitchen. And I think it's cool. So, great to buy for 99 cents. And speaking of great buys, I have been looking through 
games a lot. Like the kids' toys and the games when I go to the thrift stores, which is not something I normally used to do. But I've been on the hunt for vintage games. And I found a couple this week, which I'm super excited about. So the first one um, I paid $3.99 for, and it's called Game of the States. Now, I don't remember having this one when I was a kid, but I had one similar to this, so I picked it up. And I just think it's so much fun. Anything that's like, you know, trivia about the United States, I think it's a fun game to play. And I haven't really even gotten into this, but um, I did open it up when I was in the store, and it does have the pieces in it still. So that was pretty cool. So I'm going to add that into the mix for my things downstairs. The reason why I am looking for them is because I'm trying to put together, I've said this before, one of these days I'm actually going to do start decorating down there, but my family room, the goal for that room is to do like a vintage lodge or vintage camping kind of theme. And to me, books and games are part of that look. So that's why I've been looking for some vintage books to go, or vintage games to go into that mix. So the next game I found was a vintage Candyland game. Um, it was originally $4.99, but pink tags were on sale, so I got it for like two something, two forty nine, dollars And it looks like this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I was looking on here to see if I could see like a year. Oh, here it is. 1978. So most likely this is the type of one that I had when I was a child. With this, I remember this design. Like nowadays, the Candyland board is way different than what I remember as a child. Oh my gosh, this, this is awesome. This is the one that I grew up with and that's what I was hoping for. Look at that. I always loved the, um, can the house. And then, what was it? Where is it? Oh, here, over here. The little um, Neapolitan, what do they call it? The ice cream floats. Those are my favorite little ones. But anyways, I am loving this. I'm going to hang this up down in my um, crafting area because I'm just doing it all out. Anything I love down there sort of thing. And look, it even has its little penises still. Two of them, at least. I'm not going to dig through this right now. Two, oh, it has all three. All four. Oh, my gosh. You guys, seriously. How cute is that? So, anyways, I am in love with this game. Oh, there's the candy cane. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm in love with this game. It was always been a favorite game of mine when I was younger. And I cannot believe that I found one. I'm just so thrilled absolutely thrilled about it so that'll be hanging up on the wall the board will be hanging up on the wall um down in my craft area quite soon <laughs> love it all right so that is what i found this past week when i was out thrifting i would love to know which of the items i picked up was your favorite or if you went thrifting yourself i would love to know what you found this week that has you excited maybe you found yourself a candy land game as well. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments so we can chat about that. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. I do a Thrift Store Thursday video just like this every single week. And I also post on Sundays and Tuesdays, and those are more lifestyle and decorating videos. So there's always something fun going on here, and I would love for you to join me again. And to all my friends here on YouTube, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. Until then, happy thrifting, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.